Today we're going to show you how to laundry strip. We wanted to do the stinkiest, grossest possible thing and we decided on hockey equipment. So I'm stripping my 14 year old nephew's disgusting hockey equipment and it reeks to high heaven. The recipe for the laundry stripping is one heaping cup of powder tied laundry detergent. You can use the blue scoop that comes with the powder tied, but just for purposes, I'm measuring this for you folks. So it's one cup of powder tied laundry detergent. It has to be powder tied. It cannot be liquid. A quarter cup of Arm & Hammer washing soda. A quarter cup of borax. Now we want to mix all of this together and then we're going to add in our hockey gear. I've mixed everything together, it's fully dissolved. Now I'm going to add the hockey gear. And also a reminder, you don't have to just do hockey gear. You can do this with your workout clothes, you can do it with your whites, you can do it with your duvet, your pillows, bedding, anything that isn't coming clean if you wanna bleach it if it's white. So I'm just adding all the stinky hockey gear. We've got shorts, we've got shin pads, we've got gloves. Obviously you're going to um, strip it with like colors. Don't like put white, like this is obviously rock hard plastic and this is a little bit white, but you're not going to put like white t-shirts in with dark stuff. This, this stinks. <laughs> I was going to swear, but I did it. Okay. I'm excited to see how the gloves, like nothing looks totally filthy, but it rakes. And we're going to show you how dirty this stuff is locked in here. It's already changing color. Ooh, there's some hockey tape in here. <laughs> okay. Now, the thing is, I like to use a wooden spoon here because it's actually, like your hands just get really dry afterwards or wear gloves, gloves would be smart too, but this, you wanna make sure that everything is fully submerged and get it. So, and the problem with hockey gear is that it's already, it's kind of gonna float to the top. And this is a four hour process. You could do it overnight if you want to, but what we do is we soak everything, get it submerged. And once it's fully submerged, you just walk away, set a timer on your phone and come back once every hour and stir it. Think of yourself as a manual washing machine. Like, holy crap, okay, look at this. Look how dirty the water is. That's immediate. This is gonna be so good. Okay. And it also, you can start to smell it. Oh, okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm gonna. It's gonna only big time after doing this for him. The problem with doing black stuff is that it's hard to like see the immediate change, but it is fun to do this with your whites, like things that you can, because lots of fabrics are not bleachable. Some towels are not even bleachable. So it's good to do this to get the dirt out and also removes like build up from hard water minerals in your water that stick on your clothes. And it, when that stuff sticks on your clothes, it locks, it, like it locks them and then your laundry detergent doesn't work as good. So, Honestly, this is something really good to do on a regular basis. Workout clothes, you know how like Lululemon has um, like, you know, the sweat wicking. So the sweat wicking sometimes can be taken away from the hard water or fabric softener or something that locks in that moisture wicking and that will help your athletic wear perform better, which this is athletic stuff too, right? I can't believe how dirty this is. This is like, I don't know, how long have we been talking for? Three minutes? It looks like it's been in here for 10 hours. So now, I'm just gonna wait. So we'll set a timer for one hour and then we're gonna come back and stir it. We're on hour two. I wanna show you quickly how dirty this water is. Like, look at this before it's not moving. Like I haven't stirred it yet, but I wanna show you right there. And now, like, let's just do a little pull back. This is disgusting. And I'm, t <gasps> there's nothing on the bottom there. Like, oh no, hold on. There was a, there was a pair of pants or something down there, but look at how dirty that is on one hour in. So now what I want to do, like I said, I'm a human washing machine. Like you don't have to be vigorous about this, but you just want to move it around. It 
it smells like feet. Or a stinky hot laundry room. Or <laughs> not laundry room. What are they in? Locker rooms. <laughs> it smells like a stinky hockey locker room. Okay, I'm gonna do something disgusting, but I just wanna pull back and like show that there's nothing underneath here. And this is literally how dirty this water is. There's nothing here. Like this is just the bathtub underneath. It's insane. Okay. Ugh. It's heavy as hell. Okay, we're gonna wait one more hour. Does anybody wanna taste? A little scoop of some soup. We are now entering hour three, okay? So see how stuff is kind of soaking to the top? I wanna keep mixing. We've got one more hour left of this. This water is just filthy. And we're gonna have to rinse this out because it's not like I can put this into the washing machine. So I'm gonna be very interested to see when I like soak it to rinse it, how clean um, like the water is. Because if it's still disgusting and filthy, you can do this more than one time, folks. Like sitting in disgusting soup water isn't. Ugh. Anyways, I kind of got off track there. But you might want to do it more than one time. And also, lots of times I get questions like, is it going to bleed the fabrics? Look at this. These are socks and they're kind of knit. It's perfectly fine. So, hockey gear, we're vigorously stirring this because I want it all. I just have to do it with my hands. It is what it is. Wash your hands afterwards because this is hard on your hands. And then we're gonna just let it sit. I lost my spoon. All right, so now I'm gonna let it chill for one more hour and soak. And then we'll come back and see the end result. Okay, just for purposes, because I'm draining the water out of this, I just want to show that I have nothing underneath of this water. And this is how disgusting it is. Like, I wish I could really prove it to you, but can you guys see my fingers moving here? It keeps on wanting to come over. So that's the water. There's nothing. See, it keeps floating over to my way, but I just want to show this. It is so disgusting. Holy <laughs> Like, That's amazing. We've completed the laundry stripping of the hockey gear. It's absolutely disgusting. Now I need to drain this water and we're gonna have to rinse it because I can't put this in the washing machine. So goodbye, goodbye. With normal laundry stripping, the next step that we would do is put this in the washing machine and give it just like a wash. But we can't do that with the hockey gear because it's like it's hard, it will wreck your washing machine. So what I'm gonna do here is run the tub and rinse it. Like I'm just gonna fill the tub up again and let it soak for a little bit to rinse it out because this has a lot of detergent in it. So we don't want that like against his skin when he's playing hockey, that won't feel right. And then I'll rinse it off with a ha like handheld sprayer at the very end of it. But let's just give it a little soap to rinse. I'm also really curious to see how dirty the rinse water is gonna be. Like, ugh, might have to do it twice. Okay, so we filled the tub up with fresh, clean water just to let it soak for a rinse cycle. And I'm actually pretty impressed with how clean it looks. I was a little bit worried it was gonna be like, ooh, the water is warm. Hot, hot. Uh, but I'm actually pretty impressed with how clean this water is. So now I'm just gonna let it soak for like 15 minutes, then I'm gonna drain it. Cause I, again, like I said, I don't want a bunch of detergent stuff in here. So swish it around a little bit, just like a rinse cycle in a washing machine. And then I'll hose it off with my handheld sprayer and let it drain overnight just in the bathtub. The best time of year to do this would be in the summer because if you can lay it out in the sun to dry, that would be fantastic. Plus sun bleaching like helps with odors and stuff like that. But obviously hockey equipment gets disgusting in the winter. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna let this drain out, give it a little hose off, and then I'm gonna let it dry overnight just in the bathtub. The water is drained out of all of this, so now I'm just gonna give it a nice good rinse with my handheld sprayer to make sure that I have everything, you know, like just gone. But even see how, even see how the water is running clear and clean, like that's fantastic. 
Now that I've fully rinsed the hockey gear, I'm just gonna leave it in the bathtub overnight so that all of the water goes down the drain. And then to fully air it out like tomorrow, I would spread it out in the garage or wherever you have some space where you would normally air out your hockey equipment after a hockey game. The best time of the year to do this is going to be in the summer when it's hot out and you can put it on the deck so that it, the sun helps dry it. But that's really how you do it. And the reason we're not putting it in the washing machine, again, is because it's like hard material and we don't want to wreck your washing machine or your dryer. So I just really want to tap on that so you, none of you think that you can do it because I'm telling you, don't do it. Um, yeah, and I hope I was able to help you with your stink.